we are now going to map the RNA sequence to the reference sequence. So let's take a look at the class again. So I'll say ls data plus fast q. So I have the files here. I have two samples. We are dealing with paired and read. So this pair belongs to one sample. This pair belongs to another sample. Let's create a directory called map. So I'll say make the map. I'll ls to check that directory. This is the directory and this is the directory where star will save or store the output files. So I'll create a script. You should also take note that we are dealing with more than one sample. So we need to find a way to automate the mapping process. We need to find a way to make the script generic so that we can always um, factor in the different samples that we have. So I'll Open the script. I'll say nano map underscore reads dot sh. I'll start with my shebang line. Then I'll move to the next line. So here yeah, I'm going to define or I'm going to give um, variables. So these variables we will assign the file names to this variable. So we will use read one and then read two. Let's take a look at the files again. The fast kill files so i have data slash fast kill this pair belongs to one sample this pair belongs to another sample so for each sample we have read one read two if you're dealing with pair and reads then there's going to be a character or groups of characters that will differentiate or that will be used to differentiate between the forward and the reverse reads so in this case we have one and two so one indicates forward two indicates reverse so we have that there so what we are going to do is to create variables for both read one and read two and then we will um, use that to process our data so i'll start with read one so read one now set equals so i'll come back and then I'll pick the first sample to this one. So I'll pick the sample name, the base name here. I'll copy it and then I'll send it here. So I'll say data slash fast kill slash and I'll place in the ID, the name. Then I'll say underscore one dot fast kill sanga. This is read one. Read two becomes data slash fast kill. Then I indicate the same ID or name and then I underscore two. That's fast kill sanga. So what we have here, we can always edit this and then place in our files and then store, execute the scripts, and then we can get our job done. So let's specify the options we use for star. So I'll say star and I'll say dash dash run. So it's this way, star dash dash and red n. I'll say eight. I'll bring my slash and then I move to the next line. So the next line, I'll say dash dash genome da. Then I'll say index. This is the directory. Say slash again i'll move to the next line so the next line i'll define my files so i have dash dash read files in then i'll say dollar read one and then dollar read two so look at what I have. This is dollar read one. This is dollar read two because we have created the variables here. This is read one read two. So the dollar read one means that we need to use the actual values that were assigned to this variable. So here it makes it possible for us to reuse the script without having to write all the commands again. All that we have to do is to specify the file that we want. Okay, so this is the file name. So we have two samples this and this so now i'm starting with this so if i finish with that one i will now come in and change the id i will use this one so i can come back change this id 
to what I want and then execute the script. So that's what you're going to do. So there's one way to automate commands and there are other ways to do it. If you have lots of samples, you can use for loops as well. And you can also combine the for loops with some Linus commands to get all the files and then process them. So if you are interested to learn about how to automate uh, scripts or how to run mapping activities when you have multiple samples, we have lots of samples. You can always reach out to me and we can um, have a session together. So just make sure to contact because ideally, if you are doing RNAC data analysis, you may have lots of samples. Maybe you may have 10, 12, maybe 20, etc. So you need to find a way to automate the process. This approach here, I wouldn't recommend it if you have lots of samples, but because we have two samples, that is why I'm using this approach. So take note of that. I'll also make the scripts that I'm using for this exercise available. So if you want to start um, practicing in this tutorial, if you want to reproduce this tutorial, you can check the description box. The link to the scripts will be given there. So let's proceed. So I have my read files also specified. Then I'll also specify this dash dash out some type. I'll say bam. I'll say sorted by coordinates. So here what I'm saying is that I want the output file to be of the BAM format. I want a BAM file basically. That's what I'm saying. We have some files we have bam files so i want the bam file so that is why i have the bam here and i also want it sorted by coordinates so that's why i have this also here so i will now do this i'll come here i'll say dash dash out file name fix this is what I'll use to specify my output file names. So I'll say mapped slash and I'll say GSM. This ID here. This is what I want. Okay, so now I have the scripts complete. So I will exit and save the changes. I will now use this to add to the question right. So ch mod plus x up that's called reach.sh so i will do that so now i can execute the script so i'll say dot slash map reach.sh so this will perform the mapping we specify this sample here so that means we are going to map this reach to the reference sequence so let's run this command okay star has finish mapping the first sample so let's proceed so i'll say ls and now ls into this directory the map directory so i'll say ls mapped now see the files there so i have the output files here so this is the bam file and we also have some log files here this 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 and then we also have this one here i've already explain these output files in another video so you can check that video out the link to that video is in the description box you can also watch that video by the link right up here so uh, for this tutorial i'm only going to focus on the bam file here and then we will just display this one also here but let's map the other sample as well so let's edit the script again and this time we are going to use this ID here. So let's first copy it. Then I'll say nano map underscore reads. And this time I will change this sample here, this ID here. That's what I'm going to do. The same goes for this one. So now I have the second sample. So you notice that I only modified the sample like this here. All other commands are the same. Because here, this one represents what we have here. So whatever you put here, is what will be 
used here so let's map this other one too and let's check this one too we need to specify this and give the same sample name so let's do this so now we will do the mapping and we also have the output files for this sample so let's save the changes so let's map again by calling the scripts okay so star will map the second sample also okay star has completed the mapping activity for this other sample so let's check the map directory let's do an ls see what we have so we have all of them here okay so we have them nicely done so uh, we can always look at the output files and we can always um, differentiate them using the sample ids so uh, we can proceed so for the star output there's the bam file there's also a log file for the mapping statistics which is this one here so let's just take a look at the mapping statistics for these samples let's check let's try with this one here this one here so i will say it's a text file so i'll use a linus command to display so i'll say cut mapped then i will specify that one which is here so i'll open this one this is for uh, the 177 the sample the sample which has um, the last three numbers as 177 so i'll open this and i can check the mapping statistics here so i'll focus on the uniquely mapped reads which is this one here it's for its intensive percentage it is 82.20 percent ideally we should have most of the reads majority of the reads map into the reference sequence we should have a high percentage that is what we see here so things are looking good let's look at the other sample so i'll indicate that also here and let's take a look at that so that one too we have um, the number here percentage is 75.58 percent which is also uh, quite high okay it's also high so it's good so we have high percentage so we have high percentages for both samples so that means that we are good to go now with the log file with the mapping statistics you can also aggregate them then visualize all of them okay so there's a tool called multi -QC. you can use that to aggregate this mapping statistics then check all of them out so and also that can help you to easily compare them okay because if you are dealing with lots of samples it becomes very cumbersome trying to open each of these files and then reading them so multi qc can be used to make your work easier because it will aggregate all these reports together into a single file and also generates some plots that you can use for the analysis so i will encourage you to use multi qc for um, your qc so 